Now, a lot of people focus on the things that they'll have to give up with their newfound plant-based lifestyle rather than focusing on the things that they're going to gain in the process. Now, the feeling of giving up favorite foods can flat out suck, okay? Especially if it's food that you grew up on. Hamburgers are tasty. Cheeseburgers are even tastier. Pizza is tasty. So is cheese. Chicken pies used to be one of my favorite foods of all time. And so did fettuccine Alfredo. Not to mention banana splits with mint chocolate chip ice cream, chocolate sauce, and peanuts sprinkled on top. What about Eggo waffles? Let's not forget those. Okay, I grew up on all these foods, and I wanted to give up exactly zero of them when I began eating a plant-based diet. But guess what? I didn't realize that even though I would temporarily give up these foods, that I was actually gaining the opportunity to eat a whole bunch of other foods that were not even in my consciousness. I didn't realize at the time that by switching over to a plant-based diet, I would gain the ability to eat as many mangoes as I wanted. And trust me, mangoes are one of my favorite foods of all time. And I know most, a lot of people who feel the same way. Okay. I also gained the ability to eat as many bananas as I wanted. I gained the ability to eat as many dates as I wanted. And guess what? My blood glucose was rock solid the entire time. No matter how many mangoes and dates and bananas and figs and peaches I ate, my blood glucose was rock solid. I gained the ability to eat foods like sweet potatoes and purple potatoes and corn brown rice, chickpeas, black beans, pinto beans, peaches, oranges, large acai bowls, papayas, quinoa, kabocha squash, and the list goes on. At the time, I had no idea how much I would love these foods until I began eating them and I began eating them frequently. And then when I began eating these foods, my desire to eat cheeseburgers and pizza and chicken pot pies, it just flew out the door. I wasn't even thinking about those foods anymore. Okay. In other words, I didn't know what I didn't know. I thought that if I started to eat different foods, that my desire to eat all these other tasty hamburgers and meat-filled dishes was going to overwhelm me, going to sabotage my ability to continue moving forward. But in a very short period of time, I began to realize that that was just a ridiculous story that I was telling myself. And the truth is that The new foods that I was eating tasted better than the old foods that I was eating. And I just, once again, had to get out of my own way. So if you're in this situation and you have this conversation happening in your own head, then I would encourage you to focus not on what you're going to lose, but focus on what you'll gain. And trust me when I say that you're going to gain a lot more than you lose. Not only are you going to gain the ability to eat specific foods, but you're also going to gain the ability to transform your lifestyle. You're going to start to think in a different way. You're going to have a new body. You're going to have new energy levels. You're going to have reduced biomarkers, reduced A1C, reduced fasting blood glucose, improved kidney function, improved liver function, a better functioning brain, and the list goes on. The truth is that you have absolutely no idea what you're about to gain. The possibilities are endless, and your adventure is unique to you. I cannot tell you what's going to happen to you because if I did, I would be lying. You are the only participant who has to be willing and ready to engage on this adventure and go down the path and start to experience what lifestyle change actually feels like for you. And then you get to tell that story to everyone around you. Your adventure is absolutely unique to you. And I encourage you to get started because It's going to be a fun ride and you're going to experience way more than you can possibly imagine today. You may have told yourself that you need blank for the hard times or you need something to get through the hard times. It's easy to resort to alcohol, to drugs and food for comfort when you're going through tough times. It feels good at the time, but it actually makes your life harder and more debilitating because oftentimes it's because there's underlying challenges that are emotional, that trigger the feeling of having to eat a particular type of food in order to make your emotions subside. Part of the reason that that happens is because developing coping mechanisms that don't involve alcohol, drugs, or food requires work. It's not easy to do, and it requires time and effort. This isn't a shame, okay? The guy who's producing this show behind the scenes dealt with food addiction for years, 
before making a personal decision to eat a more plant powered diet. His name is Colin. He's a very good friend of mine and he has completely transformed his lifestyle from the inside out. And now that he's been eating a plant-based diet for the better part of a year, he actually has reported back to me that he finds it hard to view the world from his old lens. But the key was realizing that there had to be a change that he had to be willing to make, that he had to be willing to put effort into, and that he was no longer going to rely on the same mechanisms that he had grown up relying on, which were mainly food to help him cope with tough and negative emotions. Okay, if you rely on food, then we recommend it's time to work with a mental health professional so that you can understand exactly when it's appropriate to rely on food and when it's not. Personally, I'm not a mental health professional. However, there are plenty of very good mental health professionals that specialize in food addiction that can help you resolve a lot of these challenging emotions that drive you to eat a very specific way. Now, often talking with other people and sharing your experiences with your friends and family can make a massive world of difference. And even though it can be hard to talk about deep-seated feelings that drive your desire to eat food and eat more food and eat more food, talking about this verbally with a coach is something that can make a massive change in your lifestyle. So our solution to you is to work with a coach or work with a therapist who can help talk through the complexities of your complex relationship with food. The truth is that everybody has a complex relationship with food. Some of the complex relationships are positive. Some of them can be negative and some of them have a combination of both positive and negative. But simply talking this through with somebody that can listen to you and somebody that can lend you some insight can make a lot of positive change in your lifestyle. We know that this works. We've helped thousands of people through this process. And the question is, if you're willing to get started, then the world can become your plant-based oyster.